Today we're going to begin the last section of Master Golding Ying's rear staff Tai Chi form. Um, I know in the last video, I said for this video, I was going to do a review of all the various sections. But I think that because we're so close to the end, I'm going to go ahead and uh, teach the last two um, running sections or running moves of the last uh, closing section. And then after we complete the set, we'll go over um, the staff form and go over the things that you have to remember in the different sections and the different sections themselves. Um, because as I point out in one of my uh, tip videos, the end is actually the beginning. And in that video, I talked about when you finally learn the form, you're no longer looking forward to the next move and the next move, and you can start to really work on the form itself. And so that's, we're going to follow that advice and we'll just finish out the uh, last two uh, moves in the form, and then we can go back over the form. Um, it's not really, uh, each of the moves is kind of a series of moves, so it's going to be actually two mini sections. And uh, we'll take it from where we uh, left off last time. But I'll do a quick review of that uh, last section so that you can see the, the section in its entirety and then where we end up. So, so uh, in the last section, we ended up in this position. And then we did the walk around stripes. And then we did the coming back for the wind up stripe. And then when we did the uppercut to the shoulder, stop. And then we did the um, backhand strike. And so this is where we're gonna begin the uh, next moves in the closing section. I'll do that uh, a little faster so that you can see what the rhythm looks like. So uh, let's just take it from there uh, before we begin. This is the one time that you're going to actually see kind of a twirl or kind of a spin move with a staff in the form. And also it's going to be the only time that you're going to drop into the low falling stance. And again, if you're older and you have a hard time doing the falling stance, we could do the modified half falling stance just so that you can get through that, it doesn't have to be like super steep. Um, so, okay, we go from there. So we'll go from that last position, the backhand strike. From here, I'm gonna break this uh, movement down so that you can kind of uh, practice it in kind of step by step. So from here, you're gonna drop the staff down. Okay, so you're like extended out pretty far so as you drop down, you have to kind of come back on the staff a little bit so that you have room to clear. So when you're out here, you're going to basically kind of pull back here then grab the staff and have room to come down. And then you're going to kind of do a spin. This is like, again, the only time you're going to do the spin, and then you're going to come up kind of like to a block on this side. That's what it looks like. So again, from here, you gotta kind of pull back, come drop down to a block here. So you want that block to be covering all the way to about like again, two or three inches off the ground. So you're gonna have to kind of judge the staff sliding to accomplish that. So again, a little bit faster. Like that. Here, drop down. So this foot, again, uh, told you in the last lesson, that foot should be 
turn out so the strike can be kind of more in front. And then so as you come back, you're going to turn this foot as you do the spin. Then I like to like turn this right foot out straight as I do this portion of the block. So turn out foot and then turn back. Do the spin and the right foot turns forward and then, then the right the left foot will be kind of pointing forward at this point. Because from here you're gonna have to do a totally turnaround here and at this point you're gonna grab slide the staff up so that you can do the low sweep behind you with the long end of the staff as you drop in the falling stance. Okay, so let's break that down again. From the backhand strike, kind of pull back a little bit, drop down, turn the foot, turn the right foot, spin, and then block here. Okay, one more time and we'll go into the next move. Here, turn the foot, drop the staff, spin, block. Then you want to like pivot like this. And at the same time that you're pivoting, kind of slide the staff to where you're going to need. So as you do this, drop into the falling stance and a backward sweeping strike. Okay, we'll do a little bit, uh, we'll do it slow, but we'll still do it more continuous. Here, here, here. Okay, from the backhand strike, turn the foot, drop down the staff, go into the block, both toes pointing forward this way. And then pivot as you slide the staff and then drop into the falling stance as you sweep the opponent's feet coming from behind. Okay. Again, as you practice it, go ahead and practice nice and slow so you make sure that you have every one of those elements in the procedure. From the backhand strike, drop down the spin, block, pivot, falling stance, and back, sweeping strike. Okay. Backhand strike, slide, drop down, block, pivot, falling stance, backhand, back. Low sweeping strike. From here, you're going to sweep back again. Up. So it's like a curve. And then strike down. So as soon as you come back here, then I'll be going to uh, one continuous move. But I'm again, I'm having to break it down for you to to particular actions. Sometimes it helps to kind of visualize kind of what the moves are for. So it's like, again, moves have very many functions, but uh, basically you kind of get an idea of kind of the, the achievement of what you're trying to do. It helps in kind of like a formulating how you do it. So again, uh, this is like a block and a backhand strike. And then here, you're like basically blocking as you're doing the spin, then a low sweep to the opponent's feet, coming back, block, and hitting down onto his feet. So a lot of uh, you staff moves as you go through the form is actually attacking the opponent's legs which is uh, unusual because the tendency of the staff is hitting 
maybe the upper body, but uh, a lot of this in the staff form is actually uh, attacking the lower portion of his stance. So, so maybe that will help you uh, kind of get a feeling for the moves as we go through this. Okay. From the backhand strike. Okay. Give it the foot. Drop the staff, spin, block, step forward, pivot, drop down into a falling stance, and back, sweep and strike, circle around, strike down. Okay, that's, that's the end of those first mini section of the last two moves of the last section on Master Guo's Tai Chi staff form. So I'll do it one more time and then I'll do it fast so that you can see the actual rhythm that you're trying to obtain. So here, if you break it into this kind of little mini movements, might be easier to uh, once you, uh, when you pra first practice do it slow so that you're at each of those points that I'm pointing out as I teach and then as you uh, learn that particular part of the move then you can kind of speed it up slowly until you get to uh, a continuous move a little bit faster so from here, 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 here. So there's kind of like three mini sections that you can do. Okay, so this is a more what it looks like at full speed. Okay, have fun with that. And then we have one more move for the close of the IT staff form. Thank you.